remain one of the top 10 wedding photographers in the world. A legend behind the lens. World-renowned author. The one. The only. Kevin Cup. We've got clients coming. Can you please go out and sweep the front of the office? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. All right. Thank you. Hey, you know, if you have one of those brand new DSLRs, you've got video, as you probably know, and you may be having fun taking some video at some of your shoots too. But with video comes video editing, and if you're not quite ready for one of those full-blown video editing programs, you know what, you can do a lot right inside of Lightroom 4 with the basic video editing features built right in. In fact, it's easy. I'm gonna show you, come on, let's go. So we can do some basic editing of video in Lightroom 4. Now, editing video in Lightroom 4 is not going to take the place of a traditional video editing program. You certainly don't have that kind of control. But if your needs are really simple, like you want to trim a video to a certain segment, you want to get rid of some of the fat on the edge, uh, or you want to do basic color corrections and even apply some basic effects to the video, you can do it really quickly and really easy right in Lightroom. So if your needs are simple, you may be able to do everything you want right here in Lightroom 4. So first of all, pull up a video. You can import them just like photos. They'll show in your library mode as a icon with a little time stamp on it to indicate the length of the video. And as you hover your mouse over it, it actually does a quick sort of a scan through the video um, contents so that you can actually see what's in that video quickly without having to play it. Now if you double click on it, it opens it into the library full screen where you can click on the play button to play it, like a normal video. Another coffee, madam? Thanks. How much do I owe you? Uh, you know, this one's on the house. You look up. This is a little trailer that I'm going to work on here uh, for a Photoshop Everyone movie. We just made a movie, full length comedy movie on how to Photoshop everyone. If you want to learn more about Photoshop, check this out. It's pretty funny. But anyway, I'll use this for an example of how we can do some editing. So the basic part of editing is to trim it, trim it to what you want. So let's say I just want to take a little segment of this video. I can pan through it, dragging my slider right here. And let's say I want to start here, ooh, funny, <laughs> and edit from that point into the video. If I click on this button right here, click to trim video, this little icon at the bottom right, that expands a little bit. I have a mini timeline and I can do the trimming a couple of ways. I can grab the left side of the timeline and drag it to the point where I want to trim, just like that. Or move my playhead where I want it and then I option click on this left reverse button and that'll snap the trim point right to where my playhead is, okay? Then I'll move my playhead forward, saying I wanna trim it maybe to here, okay? That's where I wanna end my video, and I will option click on the right fast forward arrow to bring the right trim in. So now the middle section is selected, that's all I'm gonna see in Lightroom when I play it, that's all I'm gonna get when I export it. I don't need to do anything else, it's done. It's trimmed, but I can always go back and change that trim and pull in or out whatever I want. If you click on the forward and reverse buttons, it'll go forward one frame at a time. So if you have 30 frames per second, that's 1 30th of a second. It can take you quite a while to get to the exact frame you want. So another little tip here is you hold the shift key while you click and it'll jump about a half second each click. So it's a quick way to jump through your frames to find where you wanna be to edit. That's my edit point. I can now say that's my new endpoint. I'll option click. And that snaps the adjustment slider right to that point. I'll be able to get it starting exactly there. All right. Okay. Next thing we want to know is that you can actually take a frame grab. This other little button here is a capture frame or set the poster frame. The poster frame is when you upload this image, this movie to the web, the poster frame is sort of the main frame that you see. The capture frame is extracting a screen capture. Now, this is kind of interesting. With the way video cameras are so high resolution these days, and a lot of people only looking at images in slideshows online and not making big prints, 
you could actually shoot everything in video and pull still frames out of that video, incorporate that into a slideshow and make a nice multimedia presentation of stills and video by simply doing that all in Lightroom, just pulling out still frames at the exact moment. So say I wanted a still frame of this shot. That's a funny uh, little uh, image there. I'll just go capture frame. It actually pulls that out. And now you'll see it right next to it here on my timeline. That frame is a normal photo, which I can manipulate just like any other photo in Lightroom. Uh, one of the things that typically it's gonna need is a little bit of sharpening to make it crisper, because it's not quite as crisp initially as a still photo would be. So let's say we go to that screen grab here. Here's that still photo. I've actually created a preset that will crisp up, sharpen the photo a little bit. And my preset includes just three basic things. The clarity, I mean, we talked about that in our last episode, how clarity is a much improved version of the original clarity. It brings out a little more edge detail in the image. So I'm gonna go to the develop mode and take my clarity up quite a bit, okay? You can also go into detail and bump up the amount of sharpening if you want to as well. You may want to do a little noise reduction with the luminance. And once you've created that, the amount of sharpening crispiness that you want for your video frame grabs, make it to a preset, which is what I've done here as well. And if I scroll to my presets on the left here and look for my video presets, I have a frame grab crisper and crisper enhancer. So if I click on one of those, it'll actually apply the sharpening the uh, clarity and a little bit of boost to the noise reduction to give me a really crisp frame grab that looks pretty decent printed in a small size, but mainly I'm gonna use this for slideshows inclusion as a multimedia presentation. And that's an important point because when I'm working on video, I go back to the video, I do have basic adjustments and this is very, very cool. I have exposure control. I can go up or down on my exposure and this affects the whole video. That's good to know I'm affecting the whole video when I do this, so I don't have to go and individually select frame. I can also control the contrast, the temperature. If my color temperature is too warm, too blue, I can affect it just like I do on a regular photo. Uh, the white point and the black point. The vibrance, again on the bottom here, if I wanna boost the colors but not so much the skin tone, I can click on the vibrant sliders. Here's another little trick. This is something hidden there. If you want to adjust the saturation, uh, the only way to get to saturation is to hold down the Option or Alt key on your keyboard and the vibrance changes to saturation. And then you can click to enhance the saturation on the entire movie if you want as well. But here's something kind of secret that you may not know, is that I can apply some of my cool um, adjustment presets. Now we have presets that we sell for Lightroom that we can apply to video as well. But how do you get those presets? Here's something funny. If you go to develop mode, you'll see it says video is not supported in develop. And I can't really use any of these controls here, uh, the full range of controls, nor my presets are they available. I can't apply any presets. You're going, well, how do I apply these cool presets to my video? Well, the way you do it is back in library mode. At the top of quick develop, it says saved preset. And now you can choose one of your presets. Say for example, I wanna apply 65 fastback from my vintage delish preset collection, which is a very popular one for photos. I select it. Now Lightroom will tell me that some of these things can be applied and some of these things can't. And it'll list right here only the following will be applied. So some of the adjustments are not gonna go. And this is good to see exactly what will be applied, what you can use on video and what you can't. But I'll say okay, just to see what happens. And you'll see that I do actually get a lot of the effect of my 65 Fastback. It's kind of a nice vintage and a warm, creamy skin tones. And now that's applied to the whole video instantly. But here's a little trick. Say you want to create your own video presets or you want to get some of mine. Well, I have video specific presets right here that allows me to do different things. One specifically for frame grabs, so I can enhance the frame grabs to make them better if I wanted to print them. Uh, and I have other adjustments I can do to video as well. Well, you can make a preset for video using controls that are not accessible when you're working on a video if you make the preset on a photo and then apply it to the video. So if I go to a photo and then go to develop mode I now have full access to everything, tone curves, 
HSL split toning. Pretty cool. So let's say I want to make a sepia look. If I had the video directly, I couldn't go into here and create a sepia look and make the video look sepia. But I can do it here on a photo, and I'm going to go ahead and make me a nice little sepia looking black and white with split toning. Okay, there we go. We've got a monochrome, warm shadows. I want to apply that to my video. I'll save that to my presets folder, put in the video, okay, a warm sepia. Make sure I save the correct adjustment, which is the black and white mix and the split, split toning. And create and save in my video effects folder. Now, when I go back to the video and go to the library mode, I can grab that preset from the saved preset list. Here's my warm sepia. Apply it. And there you go. You have a warm sepia preset on the video applied indirectly through a preset made on a photo. And you can't do that directly if you just work on the video itself. Now that you've done all these corrections, you want to save a version of this video that has your cool effects as well as the trimming applied. So select the video, go to File, Export. And just like we export a photo, we can export a video. All the options to choose where it's going to go, if it's going to be renamed. But here's the important part. The video section, make sure to check include video files. Choose the format. Typically H.264 is a great one. It's a nice, slightly compressed version of a video that works great on the web and almost anywhere else. It's a very common format. Or you can keep the original format. And the quality, you have choices between low through maximum and which means as close to the source as possible. On the right here, it confirms what your settings are in the source and your destination. This right here will ensure that the video you export will look as close in quality to the original, except it has those adjustments you applied. All right, when you're done, hit export. The video gets saved as a new file. The original is never touched. It's a new file, a copy with only the adjustments and the trimming that you applied right in Lightroom. So very quick, very easy fast editing on your video in Lightroom. Well, there are some quick tips for you on video in Lightroom 4. I'll see you next week on Photo Pro. We're going to talk about more cool stuff. Don't forget to tune in next week for our second part of our lighting series. We're going to talk about how to pimp your speed light with some fun and easy accessories you can add on to get a nice, cool, fashionable look with just a couple of speed lights. So we'll see you next week on Photo Pro. Photo Pro was brought to you by White House Custom Color. Like the music? Special thanks to Triple Scoop Music. Frame Network giveaways are brought to you by B&H. Head to giveaways.framenetwork.com for your chance to win. Find out more about the equipment used in this episode on framenetwork.com.